It's a really rare trip. Today I'm back in Johannesburg. Two nights, two nights. I have time to do a big safari. Morning, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki and this is Travel with Nikki. I am a flight attendant based out of the UK for a pretty big airline. My job to travel all over the world and I'm taking you with me. So last time I was here, I don't know if you've seen the video I did a safari called Glen Athwaik. I will pop a link here for you if you've not seen it, check it out, it was amazing. But this time I'm doing a safari that's overnight, it's called Leopard Song, and they're gonna pick me up from the hotel in about an hour, do a drive tonight, then stay overnight in the Leopard Song Lodge, and then do another drive in the morning. We're going to Leopard Song. Ah, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, guys. leopard song the rooms cozy I've actually got a twin room because I was meant to be sharing with one of my other colleagues on the flight but she's sick so she's not here today so I get two beds and um, I've got five minutes now to unpack my stuff and then get over to reception ah, excited <laughs> Okay, so we just had lunch. I've now got about half an hour before I need to get back over to reception and we'll be going on the first drive. Because it's an evening drive, we get to take some drinks with us. I picked up a bottle of sparkling wine, so I'm gonna take this with me. Okay, time is up for a little rest in my room. Heading out now to go on the first game drive. I'm excited. <laughs> So this is a white rhino and a black rhino boob. This is a boob fight going on. <laughs> boop. Really oh. interesting. So this specific zebra is called the virtual plain zebra. That's running away. It's called Impala. <laughs> We call them the McDonald's of the field because they've got a black M shape on their bum. The black M is actually for tick control, so black attracts heat and heat attracts tick. So the ticks will accumulate in that black lines, keeping it away from the genital areas, cutting off blood supply. That's me back from the evening drive. We didn't really see too much tonight, so I'm Impala and Kudu We're going for something to eat now then I think it's probably just like drinks and bedtime because the next drive in the morning leaves at 6am so it's an early start in the morning let's go get something to eat good morning everybody so it's now half past five in the morning to be completely honest i didn't sleep very well because you know when you get in your head that there's bugs everywhere and then it makes you itchy well that's what i was like so i just spent all night like oh just uncomfortable and i actually feel surprisingly fresh considering how little sleep i got but anyway i've just got up now I've made myself a cup of tea and I'm going to head over to the reception in about 20 minutes to go on the morning drive and hopefully, hopefully there'll be some more animals out today. Okay, we've just heard on the radio that some lions, so we are speeding down the road now to get to them. So they'll eat about 45 kilograms of meat at one go. 
and then just keep eating until their belly is like this and then they only have to hunt once a week they sleep 60% of their life they are nocturnal so their eye vision becomes six times better at night time and then during the day they just sleep because they're lazy but if an opportunity arises they will hunt in the day just got back to the lodge now oh my god that was amazing those lions and the rhinos that was incredible that makes totally makes up for not seeing anything last night ah, I can't believe it and the lions were stalking the prey as well that, oh oh my god it was amazing we're getting some breakfast now thank you so much for watching guys it's been such an amazing experience it was incredible you should definitely go check out I've linked some other videos of other safaris over here uh, so make sure to check them out and yeah I will see you next time bye